Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CQ of Trade Masters. So in today's video, we'll be looking at Tarmat Limited. So uh, this is a penny cap industry once again. And uh, if you look at the market capitalization, it's somewhere around 110 crores. It is well below the 5,000 crore mark. And if you look at the current market price of Tarmat, it is around 50 rupees per share. So both these combined together, it is safe to say that Tarmat is come falling under the category of a penny stock. Okay. And uh, coming to the technical viewpoint. So before we, uh, sorry, and uh, this company belongs to the construction segment. And if you look at the fundamentals, it is uh, majorly showing that the company has been making consistent profits. It is not too good. But I believe the books of Tarmat, it seems to be a little bit cooked up. So I'm not going to go much into the fundamental perspective. So we're going to look, uh, we are going to use the rules that are applicable for any penny stock. That is, we are, we'll be looking at uh, the technicals. And if the, like I mentioned, the fundamentals is not aligning. So we'll just go purely with the technicals and we'll just follow our stop loss and the risk reward uh, ratio of what we are going to keep for any penny stock. So purely that has to be considered as a penny stock investment and uh, a disclaimer. While you're trading in any penny stocks, while you're investing in any penny stocks, try to use only a small portion of your profits that you've already made in other trades. Because uh, investing in a penny stock is a highly risky one and uh, it can take you from 0 to 100 in a short span of time and it can also bring you from 100 to 0 in a short span of time. So that being said, I request utmost caution and uh, just take precaution and uh, use proper money management while you're, in, while you're investing in any penny stock or whatever, while you're investing in any uh, stocks in the market. Okay. So that being said, let's get into the technical viewpoint. So before coming to the current market scenario, we need to understand uh, the pattern that uh, Tarbat was trading in previous to the breakout. So this was a breakout over here. And if you look at the pattern that was uh, forming previously to the breakout, let me just draw a trend line. So this was a pattern that was formed previously. Right. So Tarbat was trading in this trend line. And if you look over here, there was a clear cut breakout somewhere around the uh, uh, mid of uh, May 2021, we had a clear-cut breakout. The stock consolidated for almost or close to two months, and after that, it skyrocketed. Right. So if you look from here, the stock made a high of almost uh, 70 percentage just within a short span of time, just within one to one and a half months period of time, the stock uh, rose up by almost 70 percentage. Right. And it has been consistently retesting this uh, trend line pattern. So above this is going to act as a support, and below this is going to act as a resistance. The stock the uh, the current market price of uh, Tarmat is trading above this trend line, so it is going to act as a strong level of support. So this is going to be the first indication. And the second indication is the actual support. So if you look over here, this zone is going to act as a strong level of support, right? So previously, so this was the uh, latest uh, breakout area. And, pr uh, and prior to that, we have a breakout over here, right? So this area, so over here, it was acting as resistance. And here also, it was acting as a resistance. And over here, somewhere in the... Uh, December 2020, uh, the stock gave a breakout and once again took support over here. And after that, breakout this zone and skyrocketed. So this is the first breakout area. And the stock has, is consistently retesting over here. And this is the prior uh, to the previous uh, breakout zone. So this, both these two zones is going to access a strong level of support. Right. And if you look at the current market scenario, this, uh, you know, weekly zone as well as the trend line support is coinciding close to the same portion. So this is going to act as a strong level of confirmation that uh, once uh, the stock touches uh, uh, 42 levels, it has a strong probability of a bouncing back uh, big time. That is a bouncing back even higher than the previous high as well. So there is nothing stopping the stock uh, going beyond that. Okay. So fundamentally, it is going. Fundamentally, it is a good aligning that uh, both the trend line as well as the weekly support is coinciding at uh, the right time and at the right place. Okay, so from the fun, from sorry, uh, from the technical viewpoint, it is going to be a strong level of uh, support for Tarmat, and I believe uh, we can expect a, a reversal in Tarmat from the current market scenario once uh, uh, the best buying price of forty two is done. Okay, so this is a technical pattern that is formed in Tarmat, and coming to the best buy zone. So my buy price is going to be uh, buy in dip still forty two. So forty two is going to be my best buying price. Okay, so that is, that is a, uh, the lower end of this uh, blue box, the support box, over, what we had drawn over here. And the current market price is at 50 rupees per share. So in case if you want to enter into the, this particular script, you can enter 20% of the current market price, 40% uh, when it comes down to 48 and 45, and uh, remaining uh, 30 or 40% percentage, whatever is remaining, you can enter at 42 rupees per share. So it is uh, going to be a buy and dip script. And uh, 
as of now uh, the stock is trading eight points above uh, the, uh, the best buying zone so when it comes down just to keep on uh, you know accumulating it keep on uh, considering it as an opportunity and keep on accumulating it okay so 42 is going to be my best buying price and uh, usually in any penny stock we won't be giving any stop loss because we have to consider penny stock investment as a hero zero investment but since uh, this is going to be a double digit penny stock and it is almost close to uh, 50 rupees uh, we are going to take a little bit of precaution over here so 42 is going to be my best buying price and uh, my stop loss is going to be 30 so 30 is going to be my stop loss over here i'm marking it in red so 30 is going to be my stop loss okay so 42 my best buying price and 30 is going to be my stop loss and coming to the targets my first target is going to be 55 my first target is going to be 55 marking it in green and my second target is going to be 70 my second target is going to be 70 my third target is going to be 85 and my final target is going to be 100 so this these are the four targets what i have identified for target okay and if you look at uh, the profit statement so once my best buying price of 42 is done and once my final target is done i'll be making approximate uh, risk sorry approximate profit of 138 percentage so this is the return on investment what i'm expecting uh target to give me if i'm holding it for a period of 1.5 years so this is going to be a medium term uh, investment script and the maximum uh, period of holding is going to be one 1.5 years and the minimum period is it can be around one to 1.1 years around that point so one to 1.5 years is going to be the maximum holding period for target for a returns on investment of 138 percentage okay so my target one is going to be 55 so target one and target two is going to be short-term investment so short-term investment in the sense uh, target one can take a maximum period of three months uh, uh, to reach target uh, uh, one and target two can reach al almost uh, six months to reach so target three and target four is basically for a medium-term investment so that is basically one to 1.5 years for both target three and target four okay and uh, coming to the risk reward perspective so this is going to be my stop loss and uh, this is once my first target is done i'll be making an approximate risk reward of 1 to 1.1 so we are since uh this is going to be a penny stock i don't want to take uh, too much risk because the price is also on the higher end and i don't want to make too much risk so that is why uh it is better to have some profits right so over here we have reduced the risk for, over here for the first target i've reduced it to 1.1 if you look at my previous videos a minimum target what we have what we'll be raising is going to be 1.6 to 1.2.5 uh, something like that so this is going to be the first time uh, we are giving 1.1 because it is going to be a little bit of the riskier side so we don't want to take too much risk on this particular script and at the same time we don't want to uh you know uh, take too much time uh keeping it a take too much uh you know risk by keeping a huge stop loss as well so my first target is going to have a risk load of 1 is to 1.1 okay and once my second target is done my risk load is going to increase to 1 is to 2.4 and likewise once my final target is done i'll be going to make it in a good risk load of 1 is to 5 so uh risk of only one point and my reward is going to be five points and uh, that too this is going to be medium term investment it is the maximum period is going to be one to 1.5 years holding okay so i believe that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on tarmite so let me summarize uh, today's technical viewpoint we have a clear-cut uh, trend line pattern that is following in tarmite and uh, previously the breakout happened somewhere around may 2021 and from there the stock kept on touching this uh, trend line support it is a strong level of support in this trend line so it is not able to break this uh, low and uh, you know incidentally cu the current market scenario we have uh, the, pre the prior to the trend line breakout we also have uh, the weekly levels uh, over here so this support is also going to act as a strong level of support and the stock is coming do uh, down once again and it is coinciding at the weekly support so both these patterns uh, you know coinciding together at the same point it is going to act as a strong level of support for target and i believe we can expect a reversal a uh, strong reversal in target in the coming few weeks and my best price is going to be buy into still 42 rupees my stop loss is going to be 30 my target one is 55 my target two is 70 my target three is 85 and my final target is going to be 100 okay so once my final target is done i'll be making an approximate risk code of one is to uh five one is to five so for risk of only one point my reward is going to be five rupees okay and if you're looking at sorry and if you're looking at the profit potential so once uh, i'm prepared to hold target for a period of 1.5 years uh, 
I'm expecting I'm expecting a return on investment of 138 percentage. So within a period of uh, 1.5 years, a return on investment of 138 percentage is going to be a good uh, return on investment in a uh, small cap industry and that too in a penny cap industry as well. Okay, so that pretty much comes to the technical viewpoint on Tarmic. I hope this video was useful and I hope you learned a lot of informative things from this video. If you're watching our video for the first time, uh, please do uh, press on the like button and please do subscribe to our channel and uh, show us your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.